Hey everybody, it's my new video, and in this one, um, this is strictly a Creed video. My, my all-time favorite band, since I was about 18, has always been Creed. I bought my first Creed album when I was, I was about 18, 19 years old. And the first album I bought was well this isn't this isn't the original CD I bought back then this is I just bought this album a while ago but uh, the album Human Clay now this is my favorite album of all time it has one of my favorite songs beautiful and and the song that most people know the song that Creed is mostly known for with arms wide open now a lot of girls love that song because it's right sad and it gets it gets you going. There's been a lot of girls that I've talked to about Creed and even before I talk about Creed they say the same the same thing. Oh, are they the guys that sing that song with arms wide open? And I'm like, yeah. Almost every girl I talk to knows that song. I actually own the first three Creed albums. Their first release, Creed, My Own Prison, and like I was saying, Creed Human Clay, which is a really, really good album, and Weathered. This is their third album. The cool thing about this is you got Scott Stapp there and Mark Tremonti. Now, Mark Tremonti, they. Mark Tremonti is the lead singer of his band, Tremonti. I haven't, I, I listen to some Tremonti songs. I'm not really into Tremonti, but, you know, Mark Tremonti, as we all know, was lead guitar for Creed for, for damn near 20 years. Now, Creed, now, in my 20s, my early 20s, I was, Always rocking out to Creed. All growing up, I was always rocking out to Creed. My mom would come to my door, knock on the door, and she'd be like, "Turn that shit down! It's too fucking you, too loud. You're too, you're listening too loud." And I'd always turn it down. But then it, when everybody, when my dad and my sister and my mom leave the house, I'm always blasting the music up. Can you take me higher? I'm always singing that song. I'm always going crazy and stuff. Now, I'm not going to talk about Scott Stepp that much, but, well, I am. I'm just joking. Scott Stepp has always been in my life. Even when I heard his first solo album. Now, for all of you that don't know Scott Stepp, Scott Stepp is the lead singer of Creed. And then he also had about two or three solo albums. And right now, he's he was the, the new lead singer of Art of Anarchy. Art of Anarchy is a really, they're kind of a good band. They have a couple of good songs. But Creed has always been a part of me, you know. In my early 20s, I was going through a phase where I was, uh, I'm not proud of it, but I was contemplating suicide and stuff like that. And every, the only thing that kept me going was listening to Elvis. I'm not Elvis, listening to Creed. I would always listen to Creed when I'm feeling down. I'd turn Creed on, and I feel a lot happy, I start singing to the song, but listening to Creed got me through a lot of stuff, it got me through, well, I was an alcoholic at the time, and I was a pretty bad alcoholic, I was drunk all the time, and using drugs all the time, you know, but the only thing that kept me from not going, not having an overdose, or alcohol addiction, or alcohol poisoning was, was Creed. Creed is what kept me going. Every one of the my favorite songs is My Own Prison. Now when I listen to My Own Prison, which is the name of the first their first album and also the name of a really good song. Now when I listen to My Own Prison, I used to sing I also I used, I, I also used to go to karaoke growing up from my late early 20s to late 20s I would always be at karaoke singing my own prison 
Now, every time I sang that song, all these ladies and these guys were always giving me standing ovation, and they came up to me, and they would always come up to me, tell me they're a fan of mine, and they'd always say, how can you sing my own prison that good? Hi, I'm making a video. Oh. And they would always ask me, they would always ask me, sorry that somebody was at the door, uh, they would always ask me why I, why, how I can sing a song that good. And I always say, I'm a Creed fan. And I would always sing my, I would always sing, ah, uh, Torn, Torn's a good song. Torn, which is on Creed's first album. The, Torn and One. I used to sing One a lot. One, all my... All the people at karaoke's would go crazy when I sing one, and they would also go crazy when I sing with arms wide open. One time I was singing with arms wide open, and this lady comes up to me, and she was like, she was like, oh my God, that touched me in a way, you know, how can you sing that good, you know? She kept saying my words. Me singing that song made her think of her husband, who she said had passed away. And she asked me if I could, next time I sing it, if I can dedicate with arms wide open to her husband who had, who had died. Her husband died, and she said that song made her think of her husband, so I promised her. I said, yes, I'll, I'll sing that song next time. And then the next week after that, she was right there, front row center. Then I got on stage, and I started singing with arms wide open. And I, I was looking at her, and she was, she she burst out crying. I, I, I felt so emotional singing with her arms wide open at that karaoke bar. And she was, she was um, just looking at her, getting all emotional. Then after I sang that song, it was somebody else's turn to get up. And this woman said, oh my God, you made me think of my husband. Thank you so much. And I said, I told him, I told her, you know, I said, it's my pleasure, you know, I'm a Creed fan, and I'm always going to be a Creed fan, and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure your husband's in heaven right now, and, you know, he's in heaven and watching down on you. And then she was like, oh my God, thank you for singing that song. And right when she said that, I was like, right emotional, I was like, oh my God. Then she told me she would always be a fan of my karaoke singing, and I was like, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. And another time, this was in 2009, around 2009 when they, they released their first, their fourth album, Full Circle. Now, when it came out, when it was coming out, I was so excited, I was so energized. I was so happy. I was driving with my mom, and at the time, my sister's boyfriend, his name's KJ. At the time, him and my me, him and my mom, were driving to Walmart, and I told my mom, I don't care how much I have, I'm going to buy that album. <laughs> so I was all like, okay, I'm going to buy this album. I don't care how much money I got. Right to the very cent. And I bought the album. Full Circle, which is their fourth album. Now, there's a lot of good songs on that. One song that kept me energized was Overcome. Overcome was a really good song. And Rain. Rain is a really good song, too. Let it rain down and wash everything away. I hope that tomorrow the sun will shine. With every tomorrow comes another life. I feel it's going to rain. Now, a lot of people think that Creed was a Christian rock band, gospel rock band. I watched an interview that Scott Stapp did. And in this video, he talks about how his band members kept on saying, we, we want to be rock stars, not gospel, not Christian rock singers and all this. And everybody got mis communications about them but they are 
you could call them a Christian rock band because of their lyrics focus on God and spirituality. Not only on God, but more of spirituality. Anyway, that's my Creed video. And for all you Creed fans out there, I'm pretty sure you're with me when I say Scott Stapp, Mark Tremonti, Scott Phillips, all of you. Get back together for another Creed album or a farewell tour, a farewell album or anything like that. Thank you very much. Scott Stapp, you rock. Mark Tremonti, you rock. Come back, Creed. We want you back.